Welcome to Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson, and in today's video, we'll be doing a full wash and detail on my lawnmower. I've got a landscaping business, and I own a zero turn lawnmower for that business for our maintenance needs. There's a lot of uh, car washing and detailing videos online, but I thought it'd be fun to do a, a full wash and, on the, the lawnmower. When I started out the lawn maintenance season, I told myself that I was going to stay on top of my, my mower, keep it washed up. Every Friday, I was going to wash it, put it away clean, and, uh, and just kind of create that mentality throughout the season, create that mentality for my guys, um, that we, we take care of things on every Friday, we put them away in proper order, and, and pull them out the next week, and then use them, and respect those items, and then put it back away. Um, and as you can see here, uh, it was a great idea, but it uh, didn't happen. So over the course of the year, uh, the Friday washes were less and less frequent, and by the end of the year, I completely gave up, um, getting really muddy, and uh, and leaves leaf season, uh, you know, just a mess. Um, another part of the reason I kind of gave up on the mower is about halfway through the season, uh, after the spring mud had occurred, a lot of that mud was not washing off with the simple power wash at the the car wash. Um, the, so the soap and the hot water that they used just wasn't cutting into that uh, dirt and grime and the mower didn't even look clean after power washing it so it didn't uh, make a lot of sense. Um, I kept uh, cleaning out underneath the deck, scraping the deck and uh, sharpening blades but as far as the overall appearance of the mower I kind of neglected that. So um, knew I needed something a little more strong than a simple washing. I went to the local auto parts store uh, I had to pick up some parts at Napa anyway, so I, I asked them what they had, and they had this purple power. Um, reading the label, a little bit scary, talks about how it shouldn't be used on vehicles and paint, um, so I was a little bit leery. I talked to the guy, he said that he's used it, and it worked, it worked wonders, and sure enough, um, I am completely blown away at how well this stuff worked. Uh, completely turned my mower from really run down looking old used mower. Uh, my mower was a 2005. So this thing's over 10 years old, and after the wash today, this thing looks brand new. And I, you know, I, I think honestly, I could get an extra 500 to 1,000 bucks off selling this simply by the way it looks. It looks phenomenal. Um, so we'll go ahead and get into the power wash video. We've got for, first of all, we're going to wet it down, spray it down, soap it down, just get the big gunk and grime off the surface. Uh, blew off the leaves first, and then sprayed it down with the soap cycle. And then I went through and added purple power. And then that's when the real magic happened. Sprayed it all down. And it got about 80% off after using the purple power. Went around and applied the purple power again. Any areas that were really hard to get to. And then it got probably the other, um, probably another 10, 15%. So we're at a 95% looking nice and new. The really the only thing keeping this mower from looking amazing now is it's got some rust spots. And that's something that's not going to be fixed by a simple wash. Um, but, uh, I was going to do a full wax um, video, foam can and all this stuff, but um, this is what I had and it worked well. And um, honestly, I don't see a reason to do with a foam can um, or those other things. I, I also was considering doing a clay bar on it, um, but I just didn't have time today to do that. Uh, but this Purple Power pretty much accomplished all those other tasks that I was hoping to accomplish. It is just a mower. So no real reason to you know get it spit shine and you know have a perfect gloss and glaze and wax and whatnot.
Um, overall, really happy with how the mower turned out. Um, do some before and after shots for you so you can see um, how well it turned out. Um, kind of my process there and cleaning it. Um, halfway through doing this, my camera died, so I ended up filming some of this with my cell phone. And uh, I think the cell phone footage should look pretty good. Um, kind of added a unique angle that I wouldn't have otherwise used. I would have normally just used a tripod. So uh, thanks for watching the Scripted Garage video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below, as well as like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching Thrifty Garage.